Here, I'm going to show you how to get the difference between two dates broken out into years, months, and days. And it's one formula that works like this. As the time gets closer and the years are gone, the formula updates as well. So we don't have this nasty zero years, zero months with a bunch of extra commas in there. And even though I'm going through the whole formula here in the tutorial, make sure to download the file for it and you can just copy and paste the resulting formula. I'll put a link to that below this video as well as links to my online Excel courses. But now let me reset the spreadsheet and show you how it's made. What we're going to use here is the date diff function, this guy right here, which is loosely documented, but we're not going to get any help filling in the arguments. And we're going to start by making the years, then the months, and then the days, and then we're going to combine all of that into one formula down here. Then we're going to add a little bit extra to make it so that we don't see every element if that element has nothing to show for it. So let's first start with the years equals uh, date diff. Notice it doesn't fill in. We input the start date and we input the next date. You could input the today function if you wanted this to be automatically updating, but we're going to use hard coded dates for now. And for the final argument, you want to input one of these units, which we're going to cover as we go along. To get the difference in the years, we input a Y like that, hit enter, and we get two. And that's really all there is. We're going to use two more date diff functions, but the arguments can be a little bit confusing. So now that we have the years, let's go to the months. We want equals date diff, start, end, and now the argument. So let's input M for complete months. Close it up, hit enter and we get 25. And let's make this 2024 to make the math a little bit easier. All right, so we have one and we have 13. And that's correct, there's 13 months between these two dates, but we don't want that because we also want to show the years. So essentially, we're going to subtract 12 from this, and you can do a bunch of math and make that work, or we can use the other version here for getting months. The description is confusing though, I find it much easier just to play around with it like this to understand how it works. So if we use M, we get 13. If we use YM, we get 1. So we can output 1 year and 1 month. And finally, all we need is the days. So date diff, our start date, our end date, and what do we want? Let's go for D at first, 405, total days between these two dates. But that's not what we want. We could try year, day, and that'll give us 40. It tells us the difference between these two dates as if they were in the same year. But we want to go with MD. That removes the years and the months from the calculation. So the difference between 1 and 10 is 9. And that allows us to make this formula down here. One year, one month, nine days. And all that we have to do is to combine these formulas. This will give us a number one. And we can go like this and type years, enter, and there we go. And then the rest of this formula is just going to be combining the date diff along with some formatting options. So first off, we need a little space here to make it look a little better. Now let's go ahead and add one more. How about the months? We're going to copy this guy right here and go down here, put a comma and a space there, go for an ampersand, alt enter to go to the next line, paste that guy in there. Just makes it a little bit easier to see. Then let's go for another ampersand, quote, space, and how about months, close quote, enter, one years, one months. And that's how you put everything into one cell in one formula. So first, get the date formulas working how they should work. Then combine them with some formatting. And your final guy can look something like this. <laughs> it is a little bit bigger, but don't get overwhelmed. All I did is follow the same pattern as I just showed you, but then I built on that. So here we have our regular date diff for the year. And all I do here is I put it inside of an if statement and I say, hey, if that's greater than zero, if you have something more than zero to return, then go ahead, 
return that value and return the years with it. Then we go to the next line and here's where I say, hey, if we have something for the year and something for the months, then I want you to also return a comma and a space. And we repeat that pattern for this entire formula. So every line is a separate if statement, is a separate element. We have something that displays the years here, something for the comma here, for the months here, for the comma here, and for the days here. And if you're in a newer version of Excel, you might want to throw a let around this guy. Nice, interesting little function. But here, that's all there is. And that's how you can get a nicely formatted years, months, and days text for the difference between two dates. Now, if you'd like to see more of my tutorials, make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and check out some of my courses on teachexcel.com. I'll put a link to them below this video. But for this tutorial, uh, that's all there is.